checked. Student details dash unknown cursor. Hello everyone and again welcome to the journey of advanced Excel. We have covered uh, so many things from Excel in this series in last nine lectures on YouTube and now it's 10th lecture that we are uh, having with the help of JAWS and NVDA for, uh, for all the visually impaired users of Excel. So you can subscribe the channel and get uh, further updates on YouTube those who are watching on YouTube. Okay. So uh, let's start with uh, some date functions and today we will learn to customize date formats because uh, as we are Indians so in India there are two three date format which uh, are in use like one with the help of slash in DDMMYY one with the dash which is the standard one but in DDMMYY another with uh, dots in DDMMYY sometimes people also use slash with DDMMYY and there is another format DDMMYYYY means four digit year is displayed so let's learn some new things about date and uh, after learning uh, about date uh, we will learn some uh, new functions like uh, some function of Excel that we will learn how it works and what are the shortcuts for some and how to get some uh, in lesser time with the help of formula and uh, we will also learn uh, the another function that is sum down or sum down formula also and uh, if <coughs> we have uh, time then we will definitely cover find and replace uh, with simple options and with the help of while cards also so let's start today's uh, lecture with dates now we have learned uh, to generate series uh, of numbers. We have learned to generate series of numbers. But now let's generate the series of dates using fill series function. So let me move to blank sheet. Sheet 1 table, align default vertical along. 7 as formula G1, 8 as formula H1. Okay, so let me clear this contents. Which one, one through J one ten selected row one. Working in previous lecture. Cut, cut, remove the selection and N. Student details dash Excel. Student detail. E. Oh, normal cursor. Clear formats. Clear. Clear contents. Clear comments on of. Clear hyperlinks. Clear. Remove hyperlinks on of it. Clear all. Clear all. Clear everything from the selected cells. Dot. St okay. Student details dash Excel. G one. F one. Okay, now suppose your boss tells you that please generate dates for the month of March. But I want only weekdays, not Saturdays and Sundays in the dates. So traditionally what you will do, you will type, you will have calendar in front of you and you will start typing the dates in Excel. But there is an option in field series, you can generate the dates from only weekdays. Let's see how to do it. You just have to type your starting date in DDMMYY format with the help of dash. So let's type starting date of March, that is 1st March 2023 in the uh, this particular cell in DDMMYY format with the help of dash. So first date. Edit the line left zero one one dash zero three zero three dash zero one zero three two, two zero, zero two, two three. three. This is our date and we want all the week days from first March 2023 to 
31st March 2023. Only weekdays we want. Saturday, Sundays we are not going to type because these dates will be used for attendance calculation purpose. Okay, so let's generate the series of dates from field series dialog. Align to fold vertical 01 03 F1. So go to field series. You know how to go to field series just by pressing Alt H F I S. F normal cursor. Series dialog. One edit plan. And just go to stop these value options. Trend. OK button. Cancel button. Rose radio button checked out plus R. So we want our date series in columns. So just adjust this radio button to columns radio button checked out plus C. Then press tab. Date radio button checked out plus D. Date is already checked. Now let's see what are the options for dates. Day radio button checked out plus A. Day. So this option will generate continuous series of dates every day from 1st of March to 31st March. Weekday radio button checked out plus W. Weekday. This is what we are going to do. We are going to have only weekdays in our series. But what are the other options? Let's explore the, uh, those. Month radio button checked out plus N. Month series also you can generate. Year radio button checked out plus Y. And year series also you can generate. See, guys, you will say that why we should generate the series of year and months. So for creating drop downs, you need these kind of series. When you create DDMMYY drop down, that time you need this. Okay. So let's create date series from weekdays. Month radio, weekday radio button checked out plus W. Weekday and just press tab. Step value colon edit out plus S plan. It should be one. One. And stop value. One. Stop value colon edit out plus O plan. Should be your last date of month. That is 31st March. Three. three one. one. Thirty one dash zero three. Zero, zero three, three dash. Two, two zero two, two three. And hit enter. Twenty twenty student details dash Excel sheet one table align to follow. And just read the dates which are on your screen. And let me know if you have done this. Okay, so uh, your laptop is uh, working with slash only, right? So can you just change your, uh, okay, so just work with slash. We will uh, learn how to make it with dash by using custom number formats. That will be our next topics. So just let me know if you are able to generate this series using slash. So in my PC, I have generated these dates. These are as follows. You can see, uh, I will read it for you. 
2023 F2. 03-03-2023 F3. 06-03-2023 F4. See, 4 and 5. These were the weekends. 07-03-2023 F5. 08-03-2023 F6. 09-03-2023 F7. 10-03-2023 F8. 13-03-2023 F9. See, again 11 and 12. Uh, or the holidays. Yes, it will throw uh, an error. Just uh, uh, did you check with uh, these number formats? Just let me know. Number format. Just, uh, just let me know uh, about the number format of that cell. See, actually, uh, you are having this slash. Generally, uh, when you type uh, the dates with slash, unless uh, means your default. Uh, date format should be dd slash mm slash yy so uh, you can select that particular column and uh, change that number for uh, the number format of that column to dd dash mm dash yy like uh, by pressing control one like this unknown cursor Format cells dialog date formats display date and time serial numbers as date values dot date formats that begin with an asterisk left parent star right parent respond to changes in regional date and time settings that are specified for the operating system dot formats without an asterisk are not affected by operating system settings dot format cells tab control number normal person so maybe there uh, your uh, what I would say huh your operating system uh, uh, is supporting this date format dd slash mm slash yy so here are different date formats like category colon list type colon list star 14-03-2012 this is the date format star march 14 2012 14-03 star 14-0 so you can have this date for this date format for you star star 14-03-2012 and here is an option called locale left parent locale. location right parent colon combo box english left parent india right parent alt plus l so here i have english india local and uh, the date format is dd-mm-yy so you can just check in your system and uh, you can change your locale if uh, there is another locale or uh, the another format just go to this dialog and let me know what it shows locale left parent location right parent colon combo box english left parent hong kong star right english left parent india right parent Okay, so you don't have any option. Okay, we'll have to check uh, what can be done in this case. Uh, so you can just listen and connect back to me uh, after the class and uh, let me check your uh, date format and time format. So I will be able to help you. Okay, students. <coughs> so suddenly your boss tells you uh, these are the dates these are correct but what you are supposed to do you are supposed to change the date format to dd slash mm slash yy I want this format dd slash mm slash yy right now you can change it 
this format using custom number formats in single second let's see how to do it because there is some people, see what some people will do they will select the data they will go to find and replace they will find dash and they will replace it with slash but still excel may not recognize it as a date it depends on excel version that it will recognize or not but when you convert that date uh, or when you change the format of date excel will definitely recognize it as a date right so let me show you how to do this 10-03-2023-F8 09-03-2023-F7 See, these are the dates. Now, just select the data. F101-03-2023 through F2331-03-2023 And go to format dialog box. Date for this control one. Format cells dialog date formats display date and time serial numbers as date values dot date formats that begin with an asterisk. Now it has recognized that uh, this is date format. But let me try to find out slash here. If I got re the pre uh, ready made format of slash, why would I go to custom format? So let's check is there any format available which I want. Category colon list date. By pressing tab, I am moving forward. Type colon list star 14-03-2012. Okay, here is, this is the list. So I can read out. In this format, I can see dash. Star March 14th, 2012. So here, no dash, no slash. Month name is... 14-03-2012. Again, dash is there. 14-03-12. Again, dash. 14-03-12. So no dash. 14.3.12. Dot. 2012-03-14. See, this is YY. DDMM. March 14th, 2012. March 14th, 20 Wednesday, comma, March 14th, comma, 2012. So comma is there. So no such format I can see in my uh, number formats. So doesn't matter. We will customize it. So let's go to category again. Category, colon, list, date, time, and percentage, fraction, scientific, text, special, custom. custom. And... Type colon edit alt plus t blank. Type d d d d slash m m m m slash y y y y d d slash m m slash four times y because we want year in four digits, not in two digits, and just hit the enter. Yeah. Student details dash Excel sheet one table F one zero one slash zero three slash twenty twenty three through F twenty three thirty one slash zero three slash twenty twenty three selected row one through twenty three column six unknown cursor. See now this is date. Align default vertical align default ten slash zero three slash twenty twenty three F eight. So this is perfect date, and we have uh, generated the series of working days, and we have successfully converted. Uh, or its number format to dd slash mm slash yy that's how you can do or if you want continuous series of dates from 1st march to 31st march you can just select the day option in the date uh, uh, series with in field series you can select the day option and you will be done. So just let me know if you are able to change the uh, date format to dd slash mm slash yy. Okay, so it is your, uh, it is automatically changing. Okay, Pratham ji, you have changed. Good. Good, good. 
so you may get uh, these kind of instructions that you have suddenly uh, got notified the change this date to this format and uh, you cannot uh, have risk of find and replace because there may be an error or uh, any mistake or uh, any uh, other thing may happen but this is the safest thing to convert all the dates in the required format now let's see uh, now let's see what it happened let's make it ddmm and yy let's make it ddmm and yy <coughs> see now still excel format cells dialog date formats display date and times see now still excel recognize this uh, particular column as date because we have told excel that these are dates and in particular this this format so now let's make it custom category colon time first fraction scientific text special custom type colon edit alt plus t blank d d d d slash m m m m slash y y and c AI. student unknown cursor now c Align default vertical align default 14 slash 03 slash 23 F10. 15 slash 03 slash 23 F11. So now it is showing here in two digits. That's why we had typed the year in YYYY. Sometimes uh, <clears throat> these kind of dates also required in uh, this two digit year format. And you, you cannot change these years by uh, manually or by typing. Just format the cell and you will be done. Any date series you can format like this. DDMMYY. Again you can convert it to dash and you can uh, put DD-MM-YY and you will be having two digit year with dash. So you must be able to do this kind of things when you will be using Excel uh, in industries. Because these are the small things, but they uh, create problems which are very big in nature. Okay, so the next thing, I hope all of you are able to make it, the, uh, the changes in date and its format as uh, I have instructed. So you can use dd.mm.yy or dd, mm, any format you can use but which must be standard. So in India generally we use slash or dash as per the uh, rules of industries good so we have uh, learned to generate all kind of series date growth linear and autofill also we have learned so the, that's what about fill uh, up, down, right, left and uh, the field series. Uh, we have covered entire uh, the dialog box. Now let's learn find and replace. Find and replace. Though it is very basic concept, but in Excel uh, it works in different ways. So let's learn this. D11 H11 H1. So just type the name of these uh, uh, states. Let's type some uh, name of. No, no. We will type uh, names of some mobile phones. And as I instruct, you are supposed to type. So let's type quickly. First mobile phone is your. Redmi Note 9. Oh, e. 
E T O N N O T E note space nine. Redmi Note nine, your first phone. Then align next default vertical align default H two. Next will be your Redmi seven. Space. Redmi. Seven. seven. Sheet one table. Align default vertical. Align default. H three. Next will be Redmi. Note. Ten Pro. Not ten Pro. Align default vertical align default. H H four. Redmi seven H two. Redmi Note ten Pro overflow in H three. Okay. Now let's find and replace. And we will also explore the find and replace dialog. Because in Word it is different, and in Excel it is little bit different. Not that much, but little bit. So we are supposed to explore this dialog box. Redmi 7H2. So just select the data. H1 Redmi Note 9 through H3 Redmi Note 10 Pro selected row 1 through 3 column 8. Quick analysis available. And just hit Control H for find and replace. You know very well. Find and replace dialog. Find what colon. Edit alt plus and blank. Before ex uh, doing anything, just explore the find and replace dialog box. Find what? Replace with colon. Edit alt plus e blank. Replace with. This I am doing with tab. Options. Greater greater button alt plus t. Options. Replace all button alt plus a. Replace all. Replace button alt plus r. Replace. Find all button alt plus i. Find all. Find next button alt plus f. Find next. Close button. Close. Tab control. Replace tab selected alt plus p. Replace tab in which we are working. Find what colon. Edit alt plus n blank. So again we have reached at the start. Find what. So now let's find MI here. Not Redmi. We will just find MI here. And we will replace MI with ME. M. I. M. I. Me. Replace with colon. Edit alt plus E blank. Replace with M. E. e. And let's see if Excel replaces this thing. Me. Options. Greater. Greater. Button. Alt. Replace all. Button. Alt. Plus A. Space. Wait. Cursor. Microsoft Excel dialog. All done. Dot. We made three replacements. Dot. OK. Button. So it has made three replacements. Though in any means in our sheet anywhere we have not mentioned mi alone still it is replacing it means the spelling which i had used that was r e d m i and now it has changed it to r e d m e of three mobile phones but you may able to see that I have typed the name of four mobile phones. But in one cell, I have typed Redmi like RAD and ME. And I have changed the MI to ME. Now, let's try to make ME, MI again, but with different settings. Now, this find and replace is working without matching entire cell content. What is entire cell content? When you ask Excel to match entire cell content, it will match entire cell content to your search. But now this setting is disabled in my find and replace dialog box. It is not matching entire cell content. Where, where it will find MI? Means these two letters, M and I. Means where it will find MI together, it is going to change, uh, it is going to change in ME. Means if you typed any, means if there is mini, M-I-N-Y, 
uh, uh, MINI, suppose. MINI. So it will change that mini to MENI. This is because Excel is not matching entire cell content. And many people create disasters in their office because of this thing. Many people create these disasters. And uh, literally they realize after lots of time and uh, till the time they lose so many things. So make sure that your requirement of find and replace is to match the entire cell content or without matching entire cell content. For example, if you are finding S20 from Samsung Galaxy S20, you don't need to match entire cell content. But if you are finding Samsung Galaxy S20, then you need to match your cell content. Because if you are finding S20, you can find Samsung S20, Samsung Galaxy S20, Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, Samsung Galaxy S20 F Pro, all the S20s you are going to find without matching any cell content. But when you will match entire cell content, it is going to match your search exactly to the cell. Exactly to the cell. It will find Samsung Galaxy S20 only. No S20 FE, no S20 Pro, nothing, nothing. How to make this change? Let's see. Space. Press. Find replace button mode. Find all button mode. Find next button mode. Close button. Tab control. Re find re options greater greater button mode plus T. See here is options button. You can see in find and replace dialog box. Here just press space. space. Replace with colon. Edit mode plus E blank. And now this dialog box will expand. And just read it by tab. Find and replace dialog. Format dot 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 button mode plus N. Format dot 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 button mode with a colon combo box G O plus H. So it uh, now it can find uh, replace within sheet with a colon combo box workbook. Or it can replace within workbook also. Means if there are ten sheets in your workbook, and in ten sheets.